Good morning, you guys, and welcome to a homespun house. I am Molly, and I'm so excited to be chatting with you one week later today. I have been really feeling immersed in my knitting. I know that last time I mentioned that I wanted to spend one hour each day knitting. And that was something that I haven't done in a very, very long time. And my knitting time was so sparse. So I have just, I've been enjoying my hour each day, sometimes even more of knitting. The first thing that I, I think cast on is this pair of Goblin Dance socks. This is one of the A Homespun House Halloween uh, colorways. And um, I really, really am having so much fun knitting this. I am using a 20 gram skein that I received. I think I received this in either 2018 or 2019 Maker's Haven Advent Calendar. I thought that this paired so beautifully with Goblin Dance and it works really well together. So I will be using this 20 gram skein for the cuff and then I'll be using it for the toe of my socks. Um, I think 20 gram skeins are so perfect for using in socks. People ask all the time, what can you use those 20 gram mini skeins for? Um, while there are so many different uses that you can use 20 gram skeins for, they are perfect if you love to knit socks. And you can also do the cuff heel and toe, but I'm just going to do the cuff and the toe because the heel is just too fiddly. It's four extra ends that you need to weave in. And I know that that's not a lot per sock, but I just don't want to deal with that right now. So I am using two, the cuff and the toe. I love this colorway. It has so many fun tones of purples and oranges and it just it screams autumn to me which I know is you know it's it's not here yet but I'm excited for it when it comes I'm not wishing it away I am loving the summer loving the summer my allergies are a bit crazy today they've been a bit crazy I would say this last week I'm allergic to walnut trees and we have walnut trees on our property and I'm allergic to um chemically processed wheat. I found that out when I moved to America. I wasn't allergic to, um, and I'm not allergic to the wheat in Germany, but when I moved here, I, oh man, I became and realized that I was very allergic to the wheat that is in most products here in America and was allergy tested and I'm allergic to chemically processed wheat and um, walnut trees along with some other things that ever bothered me in Germany. So that's not fun. That's one of not one of the fun things about moving here. <laughs> I have not enjoyed those allergies that I didn't experience at all in Germany. So anyway, sorry for any sniffling, anything like that, but it is bothering me much more than it is bothering you. <laughs> so yes, this is Goblin Dance. I have a really fun progress keeper on here from Simply Serving. It's this evil potion of poison super sweet i think she came out with these it had to have been at least two years ago so here that is and i'm also realizing that some some stitches have fallen off of my needle i'm using size two millimeter or um zero us needles and i have 64 stitches on my needles and these will be for a female um Foot. I'm giving these as a gift to my sister for her birthday in October. So those are a lot of fun. I have these in my mini market basket. These will be coming to the shop today. So when you see this episode, I'm sure that all of these will be in the shop. There is a very, very select few of mini market baskets. The company that I order these from, these are all fair trade. I've talked about what this means for this company in a, in a previous episode, but these are all fair trade. And the company that I order these from was very, very low on a couple of sizes of baskets. So um, you'll see some new sizes of baskets in the shop update today. And they're all handmade, so they're very different. So both of these are mini baskets. 
This one has a shorter handle. This one has a taller handle. There will be a couple of those. I guess while we're talking about it, I can share with you the ones that I have with me. This is our mini shopping tote. This is a brand new size for a homespun house. I am loving this basket. This is becoming my favorite size of basket. It is perfect for the cowl that I'm knitting on. It would be perfect for a shawl, a child sweater, um, anything like that. It's gorgeous. I love these, how the sides go up high here. And we have these in a variety of colors, as are all of our market baskets. You can get ones that are quite bare and then have one color to them, or there are ones, you know, that are a little bit more um, I wouldn't even say this is saturated because it has a lot of natural tones, but one that doesn't have that light natural color, or you can get some that are very, very saturated and are just immersed in this, for example, in this basket, jewel toned color. So this is also a mini um, shopping tote. And these will be in the shop today too. When you order these, you cannot select a specific basket. You can just leave a note on your order as to color preferences, colors you like via red, purple, and pink, um, and colors you don't like, green, just, you know, things like that. I want one that is more natural. I want one that has maybe one color in it. I want one that is very colorful. The more rainbow, the better. Um, and then we have our shopping tote, which is this one. It is very large. I use mine for um, our beach basket. And um, these all will have to be shaped upon receiving them. That just means getting them wet and shaping them and then leaving them out to dry. So this is one that has more of a geometric shape to it. And it is also very, very bare. I should have brought up some more colorful ones because we have very, very colorful baskets. This is our um, over the shoulder basket. I think I showed this one last week. I have two of those, this one, and then I have a, a red one. So what else have I been working on in my mini shopping tote? I have a really fun project that I have been working on. Amber from Makers Haven and myself are doing our Like a Dream Make Along Together. And that has been really fun. She wrote a book called Like a Dream. And then she sent out some yarn in a yarn box, book box. And um, it took me a while to decide what I wanted to knit with the yarn, but um, I have decided. So I caked all of my yarn. Here are the three cakes of yarn. I've already knit with these two. I will not be using them again in the cowl. And now I am knitting with this one and then these two mini skeins. Here I'm using mini skeins again. These are from her advent calendar of again 2018 or 2017. I will be doing the Makers Haven um, advent calendar again this year. I'm so excited and um, Homespun House of course has advent calendars. Those are up for sale in the shop. I just dyed some of those advent calendar skeins not yesterday, but the day before, um, I did three more colorways for our advent calendar. And I took a little break from dyeing colorways and just one day came that I thought, I'm going to dye three of the advent colorways and um, I'm so happy with the way that they turned out. I, I hope that, that those of you who are ordering and have ordered the advent calendar will love your yarn. I know you will love your yarn. So I am knitting, back to this, um, what is this called again? The Grain Line Cowl by Tammy Gore. I have already knit a um, shawl by Tammy Gore called the Color Craze Shawl. I think it calls for one main color and then three contrasting colors. But because I love using mini skeins, I used, let me just show that to you quick. I'm going to kind of get off topic again. But I used, 10, um, 10 gram minis for this shawl. And I used one skein of a homespun house passenger. I actually used two. 
and then I used two skeins of mohair just to blend these all together. I used um, our Fresh Sheets Colored Mohair, which just creates this gorgeous waterfall, watercolor effect, so that the yarn just all blends together super beautifully. So it's reversible because it is brioche. And it is just so, so pretty. So I used Passenger as the main colorway. And then I used our Petals um, mini skein set. And you can buy this as a kit in the shop or you can purchase each of these items on their own. Let's say you like the Petals mini skein sets. You could buy that on its own. Passenger and then of course, Fresh Sheets mohair. So this is one of the kits that we have available in a homespun house. That was one of um, probably my most favorite knits that I have made in a very, very long time. This one's coming close up on it because um, I knit this much in one day, which for me is a lot. <laughs> so some other kits that we have in the shop are the Plumetie shawl kit. And this is a pattern by Melody Hoffman of Bee Mandarines. And this is just a really, really gorgeous, simple shawl that I think is so wearable. Just because it's so plain and delicate and it features our rose gold colorway. I dyed this up on um, our gold Stellina, which just... With the mohair, it creates this really beautiful halo effect and um, the glow of the, the gold stellina. I, I'm really happy with the way that that one turned out and um, love it. On the topic of mohair, there is more mohair. <laughs> this is Birds of a Feather Shawl by Andrea Mowry. I have kits for this in the shop as well. It features don't Kill My Vibe, which is this colorway, and Whale Belly Mohair. I had a sample knitter knit this for me, and she did such a beautiful job. So this is just, oh my gosh, an amazing shawl to wrap around you. It's, it's really, really large. It's so great to wear over your shoulders or just to wrap around your neck on a on a cold, cold day. And then I have another Tammy Gore pattern. I didn't knit this one either, but this one is beautiful. It's called the Milu Shawl. It uses three skeins of DK weight yarn. It has this gorgeous color work along with these amazing tassels. So this features our birthday cake colorway. The purple is Purple People Eater and this gorgeous berry-like color is hopscotch. So that's right here. This is just such a pretty, colorful shawl. The last shawl that I have to show you is one of my most worn shawls. And this is Party on My Needles shawl by Hohi Locatelli, who has a 25% off coupon code in her Ravelry shop right now, if you check out her Instagram feed. So this features Let Them Eat Cake and Fog as that really pretty lilac -y gray colorway. And this is really pretty. It has a beautiful pico edge at the bottom. So I think those are all of the shawl kits that I have in the shop. And then the final kit that I have in the shop was also knit by a sample knitter. This is the Tanya by Caitlin Hunter. And I have this knit out of our Piper colorway. So beautiful. Really pretty. So if you're looking for something to knit um, for autumn, I could not recommend any of those knits more. I know that I love pinks and purples, and if those aren't your color, I know that that's what the samples are knit up in, but they can always be knit up, knit up in a variety of different colors. I'm always happy to answer emails if you have any questions. Okay, so back to my grain line cowl. This is a pattern by Tammy Gore, 
And like I mentioned before, I am just loving all of Tammy Gore's designs. She creates such fun patterns. This is a pattern that uses one 100 gram skein of yarn and three 20 gram skeins of yarn. So she's a designer who I have really enjoyed creating my own recipes of ingredients that I want to add to her yarn. Like I said, I use 350 gram skeins of yarn and two 20 gram skeins of yarn. So that has been really, really fun. I definitely will need to block this as the lace is looking as hilarious as lace always looks before it's blocked. So now I'm doing a bit of striping and then I have a textured section and then I have um, quite a bit of striping to do again and then I'll do this lace section and then the ribbing. So um, I'm halfway finished, which is so much fun. I can't believe that I, I knit all of this in one day, but that just goes to show that Tammy Gore's patterns, for me anyway, are so much fun. I am enjoying knitting this so much. I love that I'm constantly getting getting to change um, color. I love that I'm getting to change what I'm knitting as far as striping, different colors, like I said, a little bit of color work, a little bit of lace. Um, for my lace, I used stitch markers, which really, really helped. There were, I think, two instances where had I not had the stitch markers, I would have messed up the lace and not have realized until the second round, which wouldn't have been that much fun because it's about, oh, it's over 150 stitches that you have on your needle. So with lace, it's just not fun to rip out. With lace, without lace, an entire row of knitting. Sometimes it's necessary, but it's not something that I imagine anyone looks forward to. So. All, honestly, all I want to do right now is sit and knit on this. I'm using um, Haya Haya Sharps, which are my favorite, favorite needle. I adore them, love them. They're so smooth, so slick. They're just, they're definitely my needle of choice. So this has been a lot of fun. Have I been working on anything else? I have, I finished my socks. <laughs> um, this is our Conspiracy Theory colorway in DK weight yarn. I used every single piece of this DK weight yarn. I even had to knit this teeny tiny toe here. You can see like this little bit in our ash colorway because I ran out of Conspiracy Theory. So these are for my mom. They'll be part of her Christmas present. I don't normally um, block socks, but I will definitely block and wash these before I give them to her. The reason for that is because I knit these at such a tight, tight gauge purposefully. Um, I don't want them to get holes in them and um, they're going to be really house socks, I think, or socks that she wears with her boots in the winter. Um, but I just want them to be a bit more soft and squishy. and um, But I'm really happy with the way that these turned out. I've worn them once on accident. I put them on to see how they fit. And then I ended up walking around the house for half an hour with them on. <laughs> so mom, these have a little bit of um, extra love put into them. All right, so we will be having um, Halloween yarns in the shop next week. I know I mentioned that they would be in the shop this Monday, but they will have to wait until next week. I have been very busy and having a wonderful time creating things for a homespun house. As I mentioned earlier, I have been having the time of my life singing Christmas songs and watching Christmas movies. I know it's early and I wouldn't normally watch Christmas movies other than when I'm dying advent colorways. I think it is, for me personally, totally necessary, while even though I'm not dying colorways that are green and red and gold, and you know, um, that might not necessarily be what I'm dying that day for my advent colorway, but I still, it just gets me in this mood when I'm dying my advent colorways. 
of pure excitement and pure creativity for dyeing all of these skeins of yarn to send out to you for Advent. It's something that's so special and it just, it gets me in the holiday season mood while I'm dyeing my Advents. I don't watch them any other time. I don't sing Christmas music any other time. It's just a part of the process for me of dyeing my Advent yarns. I have a very, very, very exciting announcement to make today. And that is that I will be hosting myself and writing up a mystery knit along for Advent season. I think it will be so much fun for those of you who watch and those of you who don't watch Vlogmas. Every Sunday of Advent, you will be having a 50 gram skein of yarn to open and we will be knitting along a mystery shawl um, designed by me for a homespun house, an Advent mystery knit along. Um, Signups for that will be in the shop next week and your yarn will be shipping out probably for people who are international November and people who are statewide mid-November. I cannot wait for this. What I've designed is I'm really, really proud of. I think it's something that you will really enjoy knitting along to. It's something that I think makes the holiday season so special. It is not a Christmassy, again, red, green, yellow themed yarn. It's something that you can use for all seasons, um, but I think it's something that just brightens the holiday season even more. And I hope that you guys will enjoy knitting along with me and um, all of the Homespun House viewers, like I said, of Vlogmas. And for those of you who don't watch Vlogmas, I hope that you will join in too. We also have, well, on the season of holidays, um, Halloween at Hogwarts yarn clubs in the shop. Those all feature a super, super miniatures charm. While we're talking about Harry Potter, I wanna show with you three of the sets that I have added to the shop today. So these are all mini skein sets. Two of these are limited. They won't come back to the shop ever again. And one of these is a set that I wouldn't say it's limited because it's something that I will dye again, but it is not something that I dye often at all. This is the first time that I've ever come out with, well, I'll show you right now, the complete package of our nine Harry Potter colorways as a 20 gram mini set. I've, I think I've done a five or six um, mini skein set, but this is every single Harry Potter colorway. We have Buttermellow, Weasley's Wizard Wheezes, Lumos, Xenophilius Explains the Deathly Hallows, After All This Time, Dementor's Kiss, Half-Blood Prince, um, Mermaid of the Black Lake, and then here we have Pygmy Puff. So this is this set. I have no idea when this will be offered again. Probably not for a very long time. Um, I just dyed up a lot of this for Stitches Midwest. And I brought about half of them home. So those half are in the shop. And I hope that you guys love them and snag them if you really want them. We also have quite a bit of Harry Potter Progress Keepers made by Super Super Miniatures in the shop. So why not snag one of those along with that kit? The other one that we have in the shop that is completely limited and will never be dyed again are the Harry Potter Four Crux mini sets. I had a club where I dyed up the seven Harry Potter inspired Horcruxes um, in full size skeins. And every time I dyed a full size skein, I dyed up a bunch of 20 gram skeins of that same colorway. So these are all of the collection of the seven Horcruxes. And um, you will get a Horcrux along with your kit. So here we have Helga Hufflepuff's cup. And I think I grabbed another one. Um, and then here we have um, Tom Riddle's journal and then Nagini's thing. So that will be a surprise, what Horcrux you get. I don't have a problem if you request something. It's possible you might be able to get it, but it's also very possible, very, very possible, probably a 90% chance 
that you will not get your um, requested Horcrux, but you will get a Horcrux with your kit. As I mentioned, that will just be a surprise. So those are the seven Horcruxes. And then I have five of these left. These are our um, Lord of the Rings mini set. Again, I had a club where I did a three month yarn club of Lord of the Rings and I dyed up the Eye of Sauron. Um, hobbitses and lambas and then along with that you get this little elven you could call it a cheese plate it's not really but it's on a leaf you have your lambas you have some berries and then you have some brie cheese along with that so that is a very sweet progress keeper and these are in the shop as well so those three mini skein sets have been added to the shop and I hope that you guys love them I love them they're special to me and I hope that you guys appreciate them too. So I have been getting a lot of people asking me recently about yellows um, and a homespun house offering yellows in the shop. We have quite a fair amount of yellows and oranges in the shop. So today I brought up with me um, the colorways that we do have in those sorts of selections. Here we have, I'm going to share with you the speckled ones first, Butter Mellow. I knit Ruby a pair of leg warmers with this. Knits up beautifully. We have Early Riser. Lumos. Fruit Loops, and Bellini, and the last one, Ob Ladi. And then of tonals, I can share with you guys. We have sunshine. Whale belly. Barley. Pumpkin Spice, and Electric Feel. How pretty are these three together? Barley, Sunshine, and Whale Belly. This kind of looks like candy corn. <laughs> could do a candy corn shawl love that I also have um, some tufted woolens in the shop I don't know if I've I'm pretty sure I've shared that in a couple of podcasts but you guys have been loving these and they have been so much fun to offer to you um, I have chapsticks which I don't know where my chapstick is from tufted woolens Anyway, I have chapsticks um, from Tuft Woolens, lots and lots and lots of different flavors of chapsticks. We have their Lanolin Rich Hand and Body Balm. This comes up like a dispenser that you turn at the bottom, which is really, really nice. The moisture goes into your skin really, really nicely. It, it doesn't leave me feeling greasy. It's just really nice. And the pink grapefruit is Adodi's favorite. Um, this is the second time I've ordered this one and a lot of the scents that we have in the shop right now I don't think that she will be offering for quite some time because they're summer scents and we kind of got our last box only a few days ago of all of the rest of her summer scents so this is her luxury bath bar I've ordered quite a bit of new scents of the luxury bath bars for the shop all of them have 
just a lot of really fun different detail to the top i really appreciate that so this is the luxury bath bar you can use this one for your hands you can use it while you're bathing this one is for your body and then we have her her natural handmade sock soap so this isn't just for socks this is for any sort of hand washing of woolen. So before you block anything, before you wash anything. So this is her lavender vanilla. It is one of my favorite scents. I really, really like this one. I have it as a chapstick and it's, it's lovely. So we have the sock soaps or the wool washes as I guess I call them. Luxury bath bars, the lanolin rich knitters hand balm, and then we have the chapsticks in our shop and we have a very, very wide range and variety of all of those available. So it was really nice speaking with you guys today. I am about to head down into the studio and rinse a bunch of Advent yarns and um, go on with my day. Have a great day. Hope that you guys are transitioning into the school year wonderfully if you're teachers or if you have children and um, I will see you all soon. Bye. Hello. Hello. Katie from Lock and Lou is back on the A Homespun House podcast, which is super fun because I know a lot of you guys have enjoyed having her on this show. <laughs> we were just at Stitches Midwest together, weren't we? Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yep. It was so Our much fun. Our first trip kind of away from the kids for a while. And it, it was, was yeah. really nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was. The days were so busy that it went, mm -hmm. that the time went by quickly. Yep. And um, yeah, we talked from the time we woke up to the time we went to bed. That's really how it <laughs> felt. Like I, when people ask me about it, I don't think I've ever talked so much. Like ever. Do you feel like that? Yeah, it was. It was, it was a, lot, a of lot of talking. Of talking. And yeah. Staying up way later than I'm used to. <laughs> but it and was great. And sleeping later. Yeah. You mentioned that. I think we woke up at eight. One day. Yeah. And it was like. Yep. Mm -hmm. Picking up past eight is just yeah eight even maybe quarter the eight, yeah but still this it was morning very late my son was up at five thirty so <laughs> oh my gosh what time did you go to bed <sighs> maybe ten or, or eleven the children went to bed at ten or eleven no no home. I did I stay up a little later um but they probably go to bed around eight ish that's still early to yeah. wake up for oh my goodness yeah. I think our girls went to bed at eight and probably probably woke up at seven thirty but five. Well, the school year Who is else is to children? Begin, so. I know. So that's nice. Exactly. Yeah. We last night I tried to get them um, to bed er earlier, so we started at seven because lately they've been going to bed like at eight, nine o'clock, and they fell asleep at eight. So that's earlier than normal. But but yeah, when they woke up at seven thirty, I mean that's when Avery already has to be at school. Yeah. Yeah. When does I really have to be at school? Oh gosh, you're making me think about the school year. I think it's we get to ride our bikes to school. It's probably only a five to ten minute bike. When ride. does your school start? Seven thirty. Yeah. Seven thirty. Yeah. Seven thirty, and then seven thirty-five is when the doors close. Yeah. 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 But they're excited to be able to ride the bikes because we used to be able to do that in Germany until so Roberts taking all of the children to school with on their bikes. That's nice. That's really Friday fun. morning. Yeah. Yeah. So that would be fun. So what have you been working on? <laughs> well, I've been having a lot of fun um, getting ready for fall. Mm -hmm. um, and so some of you may have seen these at Stitches Midwest, um, but I have little black walnuts. I need to remember to put my... Yeah. This. Those walnuts have been giving me a lot of grief. I'm allergic to walnut trees. Oh, are you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, so this I've one been, you no, I love them. I love <laughs> walnuts. <laughs> But they've been making me crazy. Oh, that's too bad. It is because we have a bit of them in our yard. This is a um, acorn, of course. I love those. Acorns. Maybe let's let's pull them up like this. Yeah, here is. Okay. There's the acorn. The walnut, the pig nose, or the heart. Yeah. Or an owl. Someone said an owl. Oh, really? That it looks like an owl face? Mm -hmm. Like a, um, I think it's a barred owl. If you look those up, they look kind of similar. Could you see it almost? Oh my gosh, I totally could. And here wow. is the owls that I think I've posted on Instagram before. What um, kind of an owl is that? Uh, snowy, I think, just the oh, white okay. ones, mm -hmm. yeah. 
Mm -hmm. I just, I tried around with um, some brown and coloration and I just didn't like how it looks so far, but mm -hmm. I think eventually I will. Just super simple. Yeah, I, I kind of like. This Sweet. actually, um, I looked at one of my grandma's old porcelain uh, um, owls. Let's see how it looks up against some colorful knitting. Oh yeah, that looks nice. And they're all a little bit different. Yeah, different sizes. Yeah, that looks really, that looks, they're sweet. I love those, these socks. Those beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. And then um, the pumpkins are what I've been working on this week. And I each, saw that you have a pumpkin growing already. Yeah, that's my sugar pumpkin. I'm jealous. I you don't know why I didn't grow pumpkins. as much of it as are you want. It's huge. It's huge and it's ready right now. So I'll make we pumpkin can make, soup. Yeah, I already soup. made acorn squash soup with bars, bread, whatever. Yeah. Cookies, um, I wonder. Here is one of the pumpkins. Um, and then I have a few whites. So this is like a sugar pumpkin, a sugar rush pumpkin or whatever. Sugar and like she said, they're all very different. So I imagine that when they're purchasing from you, they could say more of a round pumpkin. More or of more a, of a fine, yeah. More of a viney pumpkin. That's what I was going to mention is um, if someone likes more of the, Smaller the vine, one. I definitely have some with... Um, more fine, smaller. I'm looking forward after the show to hear how you made these leaves. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun. But the day I start, like, when I'm practicing around, I get really frustrated. And then finally, it turns out how I want it. And I'm relieved and excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, yeah, so that's Those been really cute. kind of the seasonal ones I'm working on. Um, some of these I've made over the summer and brought back from Stitches Midwest. So you might have seen these from before, the Luna Moth. Oh, I can keep it still there. And um, I showed these to my dad, and he is actually an amazing, um, he's not an entomologist, but he went to school for bi biology, so he knows a lot about these. But he said that the darker um, the coloring means that they're a spring brood of Luna moths. Oh, <laughs> so these are spring to? Luma, uh, as opposed to later in the season they get um, like so the, the summer brood would be kind of more um, yellow. Oh, and have you, had you noticed that? I never noticed that. But, yeah, but so now you know when you look at photographs. And also and different parts of the, the country, the, the vein on the top. I don't know if it's called a vein, but that's what I'm calling it. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, those are the Lunas. Um, and then of course the the Northern Lights. Oh, those are different. You have two. I different. made three different varieties. Actually, there are three different sittings that I was able to sit down and um, do these. So I'll try to get up and show these as good as possible here. Um, so one of them is kind of more purplish. I hope this is showing okay. One has a purple, but a little more pink, and then the blue and blue and green. So those are the Northern yeah, they're Lights. They're both really. I haven't seen this sort of one. I love the idea of this as a backdrop, though. That looks really it's nice. It's very sparkly gray. It works. It kind of looks like the night perfect. sky. Perfect. Mm -hmm. These are one of my favorites. These were one of, like, the big sellers at yeah, Stitches I would Midwest. Say that People one. loved this one. Yeah, it's so, so pretty. That's more of the daytime scene. In, in my eyes, it looks like more of that. And then this one just looks kind of more dark and deep and jewel-toned. And when, when will your update be next week? Uh, or is it this, this week? This Friday, I think around 5 p.m. Um, mm -hmm. Central Standard Time. Um, I try to kind of switch them up for for people who yeah. have to go Overseas, work or... it'll be 2 a.m. Oh. <laughs> for sure. people like in Europe. Sorry. In Germany, for <laughs> Message example. Message me for what time you that would work. Or no, it'll be midnight. In Germany, it will be midnight. Okay. Well. Set an alarm. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, and then I'm going to be having a few more earth um, charms. Do you have many of those made? I have four that I will be putting in the shop. So not many. They take, take quite a while to do. Yeah. Um, and then these ones you guys have seen, I have a couple of these that will be released. The Lily of the Valley. Yeah, well, while we were at Stitches Midwest, you had someone come and um, mention that she had pink Lily of the Valley. Yes. Who are you? <laughs> If, if you watch, I'm trying to think of what because we had a con you had a conversation with her about her possibly sending. Well, yeah, on. I when she said Pink Lily of the Valley, I just you know, yeah. I got really excited, and um, so yeah, I'm going to. Um, she reaches out to me. I will make her Pink Lily of the Valley charm. 
or maybe even I'll have a few extra for the shop. That'd be kind of fun. It would be a fun thing to maybe offer in the spring. It would be fun yeah. to look for how to get some pink lily of the valley. It's my favorite flower. I've never heard of. Had you heard of it before? You know, online I saw some when you Google lily of the valley. It's different colored, but it was from Walmart, and I'm not mm. sure if that's. If it was dyed, you mean? Like, I don't know what it was. I didn't really look into it too much, but it was multicolored. So maybe From Walmart. I think it was. Do they sell? I'm sure they do. They sell everything. Yeah, I'm. Yeah. Oh, crazy! So some lily of the valley. Is this also a springtime flower? That is one that's actually it's popped back up in my yard. Um, I think it's called beard tongue. And um, let's see if I can see that. It's one of my favorites. Um, in my it's kind of in my flower box in the it. driveway. It's up right now and it comes out in the spring. Um, just a really pretty color mm -hmm. flower. Is it green? Like a green inside? Yeah, greenish yellow in this inside. Did you paint that white in there? Yep. Did you paint the green? Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, I like that multi, multi charms are pretty fun. Having fun doing those. Yeah. That looks like a lot of work doing those little petals, but cool to then, you know, paint inside and add those little like veiny type things, like you said. Yeah. Yeah. What's this one? You didn't show this one. This one was, or um, these ones, right? yeah, these were from my last shop update. These are the, the raspberries, a few different colors from my garden. All different colors and yeah. sorts. Who doesn't love raspberries? I feel like those are such a fun thing to find i don't know if i maybe mentioned and... this but um when i first made these without the the, the clasps on them yeah um my daughter was like your dad do you want a raspberry and then he almost ate it because it looks so i mean it is a mold from a oh real gosh, raspberry so, so he he literally almost, almost ate it and this one could pass as like almost a blackberry. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Someone had met, mentioned blackberry, so I just used the same old. And then this is just some leftover. Um, I was doing some painting on something else and the coloring. Um, I often have just a few more minutes to um, ah. paint a little something extra. So I just... Are there mo more of these or is this just a there's one There's going on? to be three of those. Is this a specific kind of flower, or nope, you just had fun just kind of had, creating something? Had fun, yep. I think it was the leftover paint from one of the northern lights. So what, do you have anything else in the shop from your kind of end of the summer sale? Katie and I just hosted a giveaway, which we'll be shipping out today to the winner. Here you can show that. This is one of my sunflowers. She won, yeah, the sunflower and some yarn and some tufted woolens. I can show you. We'll be doing a, we'll be doing a giveaway next week. So this is what the the winner won. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. So Katie has chosen two charms for next week's giveaway. And I don't have the yarn yet selected for that. So we'll be doing a pumpkin. Yeah. And a little owl. Silly owl. I thought those looked sweet together. Yeah. Very fall, Halloween. So the giveaway will be on this Friday and will be open for a week. So, Sounds yeah. great. Yeah, I've been thinking about other kind of fall. Do you have any around. ideas? Didn't you say you were trying a maple leaf? Oh, there's going to be leaves next week, yes. I'm really excited about that. I've been experimenting with molds and um, getting the sizing right. So I think there's going to be a multi-charm with fall leaves and then um, a really? maple leaf. Yes, but I'm still I'm still working on that. So um but also, I saw a spider web the other day. I was like, that would be kind of cool on a mini round, mm -hmm. you know? Definitely. But you guys are getting me excited for the... <laughs> I know, and it's August. Stuff. Katie's yeah. birthday is soon, right? It's in... No. What day? <laughs> is it the 20th today? What's 31st. The date? It's the 31st. Oh, no, the today? date today. Um, it's oh. the 21st. So yeah. 10 days. 10 days until Katie will be 40. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> 24. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Um, are you planning on having your updates every Friday or are you thinking you're going to switch them? We'll see. Since um, the kids are going back to school on the 4th, um, I think a weekly thing is, is pretty possible. Yeah. Um, right now, I mean, 
it's been going fine. So I think, yeah, I think Friday would be a nice mm -hmm. time to do it every week. So this Friday yeah. at five o'clock, all of these charms you've seen, plus what else? What what was left over from the summer update? There's there bluebirds, a... um, see the sunflowers. I added some robins nests in there. Um, are there eggs? There are eggs. Like robins and the sparrow, are mm -hmm. they sparrow eggs? Um, sparrow, bluebird. Um, yeah, just have a look. I also did a lot of um, new photos for the website as well, which oh, I did? feel like they can they kind of stand out a little mm -hmm. bit more, so you can see them better. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so hopefully we have Katie on again, and um, thank you for having me. Yeah. Go shop her update. There are lots of pretty things. She does a really great job. And um, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye. Bye.